Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. But it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. To truly know yourself and become who you really are is the most important skill you can ever possess to be successful and happy in life. In this video, I share with you five steps you need to take in order to know and become your true self. Coming up. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. It means a lot. If you're new here, every week I give you tips and strategies to achieve your dreams, unleash your true potential, and live an awesome life. So if you're interested in these kinds of videos, consider subscribing down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. When it comes to being yourself, there can be a lot of pressure from the outside world as it tries to influence who you are. Living in a society that is constantly developing, it's important for you to always be yourself from the inside out. But why it's important to know yourself and become who you really are? When you deeply know yourself and the boundaries that you have set, you are more likely to experience a fulfilling, rewarding, and successful life. Once you know yourself, you will become more confident. You will understand your purpose. And you will begin making a bigger impact on the world. So how can you know yourself and become who you really are? Here are the five steps you need to take in order to do that. Be quiet. You cannot and will not be able to know yourself until you take the time to be still. Many people don't know themselves because any sort of silence scares them. It's too uncomfortable to be alone with every flaw staring back at them. But it isn't until you get alone, evaluate yourself and are completely truthful with yourself that you will actually be able to see every facet of your life, the good and the bad. When you know who you are, you will finally see where you and your specific gifts fit into the bigger picture. Be quiet and discover your true self. Find what you are good at. First of all, everyone is good at something. This is some good news, isn't it? Nevertheless, this might be the most difficult step in the process of knowing who you are, but it's a necessary one. Sure, it takes trial and error to find what you're good at. And no, I don't want you to give up before you have had more than enough attempts. But knowing when to quit is a gift everyone needs to learn. Quit when you have put in ample time and your efforts aren't giving back in return. What is ample time? Only you can decide that. But when you quit correctly, it isn't giving up. It's making room for something better. When your actions do nothing but drain you rather than produce more passion and increase your drive to do more, that's a good sign. It is time to focus elsewhere. Find what you are passionate about. Following passion of any kind is a good thing and you need to pay attention when it comes because it indicates an area of life that you are designed for. If you want some tips on how to find your passion, I recommend you watch my video Figure Out Your Passion. The link is in the description below, so check it out! You cannot achieve any kind of success in life if you don't have passion in your life or passion about what you are doing. Be it the simplest thing or the most sophisticated thing, you need passion in order to succeed. Focus more on passion and you will make a bigger impact. Passion produces effort 
and continuous effort produces results. Ask for feedback. If you don't know yourself, hearing what others have to say about you is a helpful practice. Ask them two simple questions. What strengths do you think I need to develop further? And what weaknesses do you think I need to work on? Of course, their opinion isn't going to be perfect, but their feedback will probably indicate a few areas you should at least take a second look at. This step is especially important for those who are stuck in finding themselves. I suggest you ask a true friend for feedback, or at least someone you really trust. Assess your relationships. A large aspect of knowing yourself can be found in your relationships. When you realize you will never truly know anyone else until you discover yourself, the importance of knowing yourself becomes even more apparent. This truth especially rings true for business leaders, because if you don't know the people on your team, then you will be lost as a leader. But this rule also applies to any relationship in your life. Almost as much as you need to know yourself, other people also need to know who you are. People need you, the real you. I hope you find this video useful. Leave your remarks in the comments below. I'm always interested in your opinion. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I just want to have some more friends. Take care.